welcome back. Today we're gonna make tacos de birria, but vegan. And I'm so excited about this recipe today because it's honestly so amazing. Amazing. I'm so, so, so excited for you guys to try this. All right, so the ingredients you're gonna be using today is a couple different kinds of chiles. So it's gonna be pasilla ancho and chile guajillo. And then we're gonna use jamaica. Jamaica is gonna be the meat of the dish. We're gonna use garlic, vegan cheese. This is optional, but I highly recommend it. I'm using daya today. And then we're gonna use mushrooms, carrots, jalapenos, cilantro, cabbage, white onion for the broth, red onion to garnish. Okay, so these are gonna be the base ingredients. Let's get started. Toast. So in a pot, you're gonna bring it like halfway to boil. So it just depends on how many people you're cooking for. What you're gonna do is you're gonna rip the chile stem off. So look, see what I mean? And keep the chile. And then keep the chile. And I keep the seeds because it makes it spicier, but it's really up to you. If you don't like really spicy food, just use it for your broth and it'll still give it a really good flavor. So four chile guajillo and then three pastilla. I'm gonna pour these chiles into here and that's gonna give me my broth let that sit a couple really like garlic so i'm just gonna put it in like this <laughs> a couple maybe like two spoonfuls i'm just gonna start boiling some water because the hibiscus flour needs to sit in water so it can give it that meat texture so now that i've cut those i'm gonna put these into my broth and I do need a little bit more water. So I'm gonna wanna pour a little bit more water in there. Also, I'm gonna do a little bit of this carrot just to give the broth flavor because I'm gonna blend all these together later. All right, so now I'm just gonna add a lid to it and then just keep it on medium. And once it starts boiling, I'm gonna stir it, taste it, and then salt it. So I'm gonna start by cutting the stems off. And I don't know if you remember from another video, but you use this for broth and this for garnish. doesn't seem like enough water, so I'm gonna boil a little bit more and let it seep. Okay, so I'm gonna add more water because remember, it wasn't covered up all the way to the top. And this is actually how you make hamica anyway. Here. I'm gonna use some apple cider vinegar to neutralize the tartness and I'm gonna let that set and I'm gonna let it set for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna let that set. I'm gonna cover it because it's still kind of cooking with the water. Okay, so now I'm gonna toss these veggies in the broth. It's gonna be mixed in with the um, hibiscus petals and it'll be like a little taquito. Now it's been about 15 minutes of just the broth cooking the hibiscus. You wanna taste the petals and it has to have the texture of shredded goat. So I'm gonna set this to the side. A Little bit of olive oil just to dorar the taco. I've got my garnishes here. So I've got the pepper jack cheese, cabbage, the red onion, and then more cilantro. So whatever tortillas you have, lo voy a separar and let it cook for a little bit. 
And I have my teen set here. And I'm going to start cooking this one too. All right, so, so I just poured a little bit of this. I obviously drain the fugu and then you pour it. Cabbage. Okay. And it just gives the shell the same flavor of the broth. See, once it starts getting that gold color flip. Okay. And then, like I said, give it a little bit of color. All right, so this is the finished product. I can't see because of the cilantro, but it looks just like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to eat the beef tacos, okay? You dip it in the caldo, and then you eat it like this. Mm. The broth is gonna go towards the middle because you're gonna eat over it. Mmm, 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 fire. Mmm, mmm. Sorry. Mm. Like I wish you guys could taste it. You can, you make it. Mmm. Mm. Mm. And the broth alone. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Ew, we don't shut up. We're like, mmm, mmm. Yeah. The crazy part is we be like this off the camera too. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. We're just. So mm. fire. Mm. Uh, so good. I'm gonna have to cook, but. Being in the military, being away from my home for 10 years now, you know, I had to find me a little chef, you know, a little, little chef. <laughs> she be whipping it up though. All guys with my same girlfriends can relate to what I go through. I know they can. There's no way they can. Mm. Mm. Eight tacos later and... Yeah. You didn't see anything? Bombed. I hope you guys try my tacos. <sighs> Really We've been just eating and cooking and recording it. Literally. We're just getting fat. And I sit on the couch all day and edit videos and then record to eat. But yeah, let me know if you guys... <laughs> just hit that subscribe button. <laughs> be doing it. Hit oh, that subscribe that? button. It'll be right here. You click this right here and then... They're just so annoying. No, have you seen the one where they're like... Click the button and I'll put it like right here and then it's on the screen. You... And it goes like... Like a, like a bottle pop or whatever. I'm gonna turn it off now. Thanks for watching, you guys.